Hey everyone, this is Paulo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make leads like the ones in the track Higher by K9. So this is the original track. And this is the sound we're going to be making. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so before anything, these are the notes that we're going to be playing. You can copy them if you want to follow along with the video. So now let's get into Serum. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch. Right now it's just a saw wave, but we're actually going to be using all sine waves. So let's use basic shapes on all of the oscillators and let's sync all of the faces by bringing the random and the face down on both oscillators. You should only be getting a very strong sub and what we want to do now or what we want to achieve is to have the high harmonics of the lead generated by these two sine waves and adding that up with this sub and also turn on the noise and once we have all of this we can run it through distortion. So let's just focus right now on oscillator A and B. So I'm going to turn off the sub. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring oscillator B all the way up, three octaves and seven semitones. That's what it should sound like. Nothing super special, it's just <laughs> the same sine wave pitched up. But then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add FM from B and we're going to start boosting this. And this will give us really cool high harmonics that we can mix with the sub. Now let's just add a little bit of attack into these oscillators. So let's map L4-1 in both levels. Let's set this to envelope and then let's just add a little bit of attack like this. So they don't just right away play and click. Cool. So I'm going to leave it right here. And the next thing I'm going to do is to turn on the noise and the sub and map this LFO into the level of the noise. And now the next thing we're going to do is to turn on the distortion. We're going to set it on tooth. And now let's notice the change in the sound as we boost the drive. Really, really cool. Now let's add a multiband compressor after. Now we can add an EQ before the distortion and we can modulate a bell if we want an extra expression in the sound, which can also be really, really cool. So what we can do is we can find a harmonic that we really like. For example, I really like what happens to the sound when I have this boost. And I can map the node modulator into this frequency knob. And fine tune the modulation so the same tone stays even if we play different notes. Now, obviously, I'm going to mix this a little bit lower. But we can use this gain knob in the EQ to mix it in. Next, I'm going to add hyper and dimension after the distortion and bring the mix of the hyper down. This adds a little bit of width into the sound without destroying the harmonics that we just built. Really cool. Now this is of course one layer. The next one that we need is this layer. That when we add it with the layer that we just did, adds that extra dirt to the sound. So let's craft that layer. Okay, so how we're going to make this layer is we're going to duplicate the same patch here. This is an exact copy. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the FM values, change the distortion values and the EQ values. I 
until we get a different sound. Like this one. It's a little bit more dramatic. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this a little bit more on the stereo side with the hyper and some reverb. Of course, we need to control this reverb by cutting all the lows, bringing the size down and the decay down. Then after that, we just need to filter it. I personally high pass this layer. And then if we add it with the other one, we get this very cool metallic. We get this really cool metallic bright tail into the sound. So that is essentially the sound. Now, if you want to make this more of your own, you can play with the different harmonics of the sound and the different FM values. For example, here in this layer, I brought down the octave and the FM, and it gives me a different tone. Now we can do the same with the other layer, bring it down and change the FM values. I really like the tone of this one because as usual, I encourage you to go beyond just replicating the sound of an artist and try to use what you learned to create your own sound. So that is going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.